All right, let's talk about practice swords for historical martial arts. This is something that people often ask me about. Uh, which sword would I recommend for HEMA practice? And um, I'll just talk about several options here. First off, the cold steel polypropylene practice sword that people often ask about. And in short, I can only recommend stay away from those. I've handled those before at the cell at Blood and Iron where I practice. They have a few of those too. They're never used because, well, they're useless, quite frankly. Why? Because they are plastic clubs, essentially. The balance is completely off. So basically, if you, if you hold them this way, they almost feel the same way as if you hold them by the handle. And uh, the way they're shaped, it's just they are not realistic, they are not safe, for two reasons. One, because they are balanced like a club, they hit very hard, harder than a practice sword should. So you need a lot of protective gear if you want to do actual serious sparring. If you just want to give each other a few love taps, so to speak, very light sparring, then that would be okay. But for serious full contact sparring, I don't consider them safe. Also, the second reason is the point. They are just too pointy. You can, if you thrust with that, even with protective gear, that, that would still be potentially dangerous. So I cannot recommend those. I personally think you would be better off with a wooden sword. Um, not this one here in particular, because I just talked about the unsafe point. This would once again not be safe, of course. But this here actually feels a lot more like a sword than those things. If you need a really cheap option, then I'd suggest going for a wooden sword rather than that. Uh, Purple Heart Armory has really good wooden swords, so that's an option. Then we've got the Rawlings. So these here, I, these were the first practice swords I reviewed. That was a while ago. And since then, I've changed my opinion on these. At first, I was thinking, yeah, okay, they, they have their drawbacks, but they're pretty good. Uh, now, I, I have to say, not so much anymore. I very much prefer other synthetic wasters at this point. So, the main reason for that is this. They are just ludicrously flexible. This is just way too flexible. Of course, you want a certain level of flexibility because you don't want to impale your training partner. Obviously, you want to keep practicing with them and, uh, you know, poking holes in them isn't going to be conducive to that. So that's all fine and good. But these, they're just too floppy. And if you, in fact, they can lead to moments where you think you've hit your opponent just because your opponent parried and the thing actually whipped around and hit them in the back of the head or something. So they are very flexible and also they are very slippery. That's another issue. And the synthetic ones are always going to be slippery to an extent. Real blades with, with sharp edges would actually stick to one another. The edges would kind of bite into one another. That is very, very hard to simulate. I tried putting grip tape on them at, at one point, which does work. It, it does work quite well actually for one or two strikes because the stuff gets uh, knocked off pretty quickly and it's just it just doesn't stay on it's not durable enough so that's the main problem with these they still have some uh, some pros of course as well like for one they they are a little cheaper than other synthetic practice swords and you can exchange all the parts which makes them nice and versatile but um, yeah, the blades are not ideal in my opinion. Then there are the Purple Heart Armory practice weapons. Right now I only have this left hand dagger, but at Blood and Iron we use their long swords all the time in practice. And these blades are really good. They last pretty much forever. I, so far I haven't heard of any of them breaking. And even with very frequent use in class, uh, every day or, or at least several times a week, they just, they keep on going. So these are really hard to break and they're very, very durable. And the blades are fine. They are um, they are not too flexible. They are not overly stiff either, not to the point of being dangerous. They also have the, um, the thickened point here for additional safety. The only thing I don't like as much about these is the guards. The 
welds here are a little rough. Doesn't look all that nice, which is for a practice tool is of course not a big deal really. But uh, overall, they work. They work quite well. So these are what I would generally recommend, but there's also another alternative, Black Fencer. So these are also synthetic blades, although it seems to be a, a different material composition. The, uh, it, it feels a little different, looks slightly different too. And um, these are also constructed a little differently. The blades have fullers, often, which the Purple Heart ones do not. These do not have the thicker point. And these have nicer hilts. So if you look at that, there are no coarse welding marks. And these are pretty well shaped. The, the cord wrap here I do like as well. It's, uh, it's a little grippier, technical term than the Purple Heart ones. The grips on the Purple Heart ones are not slippery by any means, but uh, these here even less so. Th this is a pretty solid grip. Um, whether or not you like the cord wrap, it's just aesthetic preferences. One particular thing that I don't like about these, and I'm kind of wondering who came up with that, is the shape of the pommel. This is a weapon in and of itself. Like if you go full murder stroke with this, which normally, of course, in practice you don't, but this is pretty dangerous. You could easily crack a skull with this. Not me. S-K-U-L-L, -L, not S-K-A-L-L. -L. So these are a little dangerous. All, like even if you, if you get into, uh, into a bind close quarter and, and you, you want to do a, a strike with a pommel, that's potentially a little dangerous. It might also you know, hook or scrape somewhere, which is not ideal. So that's something that I'm not too fond of. By the way, this was actually made based on the specifications of the Albion Kriegsmesser. So I asked them to, to make a practice version of it. And they are now also offering it on their website, if they still do, at least. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really pretty close. It's slightly lighter than the, the, the real thing, but otherwise it's very, very close. Um, except the pommel shape. This, on the original one, this, this is not like that either. But anyway, so the nice thing about these is there is quite a bit of variation. They have more different types than Purple Heart Armory does. Uh, Purple Heart has the Montante as well. And I, I can actually show you the the two montantes side by side while toppling things, toppling more things. Today, apparently, things don't just go quite the way I want to. Anyway, so these uh, are quite different, as you can see. The, this is the, the purple heart, the more penis shaped one is the purple heart blade, and this is the black fencer. Uh, thickness is somewhat different and oh yes true before I forget one more thing I noticed with uh, the purple heart ones they seem to they seem to have more of a tendency to take a set you can fix that by heating them up slightly either with a heat gun or uh, in, in warm water put them between two boards say with some weight on press them back into shape it's, it's not a problem but these here the Black Fencer ones don't seem to take a set as easily as these do. And in case of the Montante, this I would actually consider safer than this because the Montante is, uh, the, the Black Fencer one is a little lighter and the balance is a bit closer towards the hilt. This here is quite the, quite the beast. I mean, full contact sparring, I don't think you could do with this. Uh, not even with a lot of protective gear. I mean, full plate, probably, but otherwise, this packs one hell of a punch. And I have actually seen a, uh, a fencing mask dented with this. In fact, I think I did it myself. And that was light sparring. So these are, yeah, a little hefty in that regard. Otherwise, the um, grip here and pommel are pretty good. The the guard here again is a little on the rough side, but better than some of the other ones, better than on the, the left-handed dagger. And by the way, the, the dagger is, um, was purchased about a year ago or so. So 
might have improved by now. So the black fencer one here is, I prefer this a little in, in terms of shape and I definitely consider this to be a little safer. And the black fencer ones also come in pretty fancy, like this side sword here. So it's got quite a nice elaborate hilt. And they were also, last time I talked to them, they were also working on a rapier, synthetic rapier. I don't know if that's finished yet, but uh, we'll see. And so if you want something specific, like this, then uh, Black Fencer is definitely a good choice. I can't say that much about the durability yet because I, shortly after I got these, I got first the knee injury and then the shoulders, so I haven't been able to practice in quite a, in, or to do sparring, I should say, in quite a while. So in sparring, of course, that's mainly where you can find out how well they hold up. So I can't really say, I've done some drills with these and uh, during that there have been no problems with harder use i don't really expect them to break but take that with a grain of salt I i've seen the purple heart ones in action a lot more than these so i can't say that much this blade here since it's narrower it's uh, more flexible than the others but with a side sword or a rape here that's what you want it needs to be more flexible the uh, you know, actual steel blades are also more flexible and uh, you just, if, if the style is very thrusting oriented, you just don't want a very stiff one. Anyway, for sparring that is. It also depends on your location. The Black Fencer ones are made in Europe. The Purple Heart Armory ones are made in the US. So the prices are going to be better if you order you know, closer to your region and the, the shipping cost should be a little lower. But generally, I would recommend one of those two, either Black Fencer or Purple Heart. If you can't afford that, then maybe start out with wooden swords and that should cover it. This turned out a little more tangential than I had intended, but I hope it was still useful. And I'll leave the links down below in the video description as always. So thanks for watching.